Plexi is not stressing too much because, right, they play today. Then they, if they do win, they play tomorrow. And then I'm pretty sure they just fly right out to Perfect World. So they must. Oh. I, I leave tomorrow morning. So that, that's what I'm wondering. Like, I guess complexity. Yeah, they're, they're going to get there even a little bit. Ten seconds remaining. Make sure to qualify for this one. At least that's the idea. This Disruptor, Five we've seen it remaining. pretty pretty good versus Puck. It'd be decent versus Bane. Two different ways to obviously stop his ultimate. The Nature's Prophet a little bit countered by by Glimpse if he tries to do anything funny. I like the pick there. That gotta be that. Complexity, fourth pick now. Uh, is Brewmaster? Brewmaster is still on the board. He's been an interesting hero this patch. It seems like he's overall gotten a pretty good buff and Seeing him trickle in here there, and I know Complexity loves to run him in general, but... Damn. No, we're going Drow. That is a three-range plus Drow. They, this laning phase is already on lockdown, and it'll be interesting to see how D... Uh, honestly, how DC salvages this, because Complexity with the super strong four opening here. Ten seconds Dyer team back. Right, here we go, they pick it pretty Ten quickly, they, and they take TA, so... That's one way, I mean, if they do send... I mean... I really think this might be a four nature's profit again, because Puck with Drow Ore actually does really well in the off lane. Could still go middle, but DC's TA, one of those heroes that can just tank up those refraction charges no matter how much damage you do. Yeah, that was a very confident TA pick. Like you said, it's like you got the Drow all of a sudden coming out of complexity, and they're just like, extra time needed, we're going right in. Confidence here for di Digital Chaos now. Ten so yeah, you're, you're still in the four position nature's profit. I mean, Complexity's draft is like, Five they, they could still literally remain. draft an offlaner, a mid hero, a four, but they really yeah. have a. What do you ban here for DC? That's like. I don't know. That's interesting. I think, honestly, Storm. Oh, it already is banned. Banned by Complexity. All right, I was going to be like, that'd be good. So. I don't know. DC, they're fine, though. Guardian Angel, obviously, versus uh, Complexity, like five man push draft with the Drow is going to be nice, but that's a long cooldown early. You have to. You, you lose one fight against this Complexity draft, and. Game could just be over. Nature's Prophet tanks up with those Treants. Drow just hits your buildings. DC needs to kind of all in on this team fight. I think. I wonder what they go for their carry. DC they banned out the Brood for the split <laughs> pushing, so they don't actually think DC wants. Sorry, they don't think DC wants to go for that team fight by banning out the Brood. That's interesting. It is. I think Gyro just low base damage will get dominated in lane, especially with the Nature's Prophet TV in, because it's not a natural, like, Quelling Blade buyer. Could be a little Five bit rough. But, I mean, what, what really would be good here? Anti-Mage already banned out. Tiny banned out. Terrible, but I think just still, like, you get gusted or puck silence, you're just dead immediately. But that's a lot of heroes. That's why this is... Such a, it's not even a versatile draft by complexity. You think it kind of is, but I mean, you know what they're gonna do. It's just a strong draft. Dire team pick. Oh wow, uh, yeah. Phantom oh no, they go okay. Pa. I mean, that's one way. Just get on top of the Drow Ranger, but Bane. I can't. I can't wait. Just watch Pa jump in. Bane levels and feeble. Watch Pa actually do nothing. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Still, I mean, Brewmaster really isn't that terrible here. You have the Drow, but it's not like you need another ranged hero. He'd be a frontline tanker, someone who could actually initiate a fight. That's the problem with the Drow lineup. You never really have anyone who initiates a fight because you just want to be pushing towers. So I think it'd be nice to, to switch it up here. Venom so this is going to be middle Venom, I do believe. Yep, there's. I, I figured one, once you see that Drow, you're like, Z Freak's going to do so much with that aura in the support. Yep, carry Venom. No, wait. Middle Venom, carry Drow, yeah. It, I wonder if they might put Venom middle, though, with Limp against the TA, right? Seems like one of those nice counters against her. The Bulba's gonna have... I don't know how Bulba's gonna do it. You're already roaming against the Nature's Prophet who can just summon trees, tank some of that battery assault. He's gonna need to get so much done. I just... 
I don't see how he's going to, but hopefully he can surprise me as he always does. I mean, Bane, obviously, a couple sleeps early. It'll be ineffective. If he runs out of mana, though, definitely. Chessie will be in a lot of trouble if he's down bottom. Yeah, he might just start in a lane, though, because with that Drow aura, I, I got to look, but he does, like, 70 a hit at level 1, and that is a lot of damage to just get right-clicked by. Go in one. Oh. Plays Immortals tomorrow. Finals of the Summit Eight qualifiers here. Any region that is. I know. I know. Actually, right now DC is at the Summit House boot camping. So they <laughs> definitely they definitely want to win and do that. But Complexity, they've been there during King's Cup as well, and I know they want to go back. Kyle, Kyle loves the Summit. That's his experience. Oh, yeah. You know, just partying with people, playing some good Dota as well. This is this is one of those tournaments you you want to at least experience once. Yeah, so this is one of those have. you're you're looking at the the list of events that you you mark on your let's try as hard as we can to get there, as uh, it is a lot of fun on top of obviously being a minor. Oh. And some people are talking about I mean the team's a little bit weaker than before without Liquid and Secret there, so a chance maybe for some I wouldn't say easier points, but seconds. easier than some tournaments for sure. Struggling OG even getting born. invited. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, both OGs, right? Optic. I mean, Optic won King's Cup, but I mean, they're weak right now. This is this is definitely a tournament. Some of these people are looking. They're like second, first place, super achievable. <laughs> Be possible. Anyways, here we go. Black D four heroes down here. They get some aggressive vision. I guess they do block this camp as well. The camp at the bottom begins. lane. Going for the bottom bounty room. <laughs> Chessy picked up the top one, so they're putting Drow in the off. Aggressive dueling themselves. Uh, it's reasonably common. I mean, I mean, we've seen Arteezy always get sacked when EG plays it in the off lane. But Chessy should get a decent amount of farm. Maybe they, they didn't want that kind of run at you, like you said, of the Omni Knight clockwork. We might see rotations if that's the case. Well, thankfully, they have a TP that they got for free. Possibility there. Assassin, they're gonna realize, all right, here comes the Drow, Thunder Strike up immediately. Right clicks though, so top lane, fuck, darn. Block, we're kind of zoning him out. to prevent him from getting experience, but for now, move. Damn. Put him Look at that damage, he does do about 70, 68 damage a right click. You'll, you'll see it when he right clicks somebody, but he's just chilling, demon. Actually, in a lot of trouble, he has that Orb of Venom. He has to block him out from this tower, and damn. Z-Frig always oh, this guy. I mean, he, he honestly is one of the best four positions that a lot of people talk about, but still, I wouldn't say he's considered the best in a lot of people's minds. Yeah, it's, you know, NA region, and but I definitely agree with you there, of course. I mean, Z-Frig, fantastic player, prodigy of sorts in his early years, and, you know, for how young he still is, he's been playing, it seems like, he has a very good mindset about gaming. I gotta, I gotta talk to him a lot when I was at the, the Summit House with him because we were staying there as well. Just uh, that whole team just has such a good mindset about Dota. They, they always want to be playing Dota. They always want to be talking about Dota. And if that's your life, then that's what you need to do. And I promised myself that whenever I'm casting Complexity, I'm going to try not to make it too biased to the cast. So how about DC? They're also good people. They are. I mean, obviously, Bulba's one of the OGs of of Dota 1. Him and Demon, right? I mean, I played with them back when I was actually decent at Dota. I played with these guys a lot on, on multiple different teams, and you know, Bulba gets a lot of flack, but I mean, people just always speaking out. Dire Courier? Actually, I didn't, I didn't even see where it died. It must have been over here with the Disruptor. I'm not even sure of myself, Yeah, it but... had to be. That's okay. Oh, but Z-Freak now. Look at this. Yeah, oh, he's gone. Alright, wait. Oh, so much damage. Oh, the Hadouken didn't come out. I actually thought, like, with those Treants right nearby, it would, and Bully, it's first blood, damn. Yeah. Oh, middle lane, go. limp, they just ran him down and caught that kind of halfway through, but the battery assault was up, and TA just putting in some auto-attacks. Finished off that so nice find there. 
Yeah, I was talking about Bulba has to have a good game here, and it's going to be tough too, but he finds that first blood. Demon gets the courier kill. That's an amazing start for DC. It is. Good CS. I mean, even with that kill on Venomancer, he's still up there at 12 and 4, but naturally, of course, having a drow. I mean, to be up there on the on the charts, drow herself is 4. Lot to happen. Very early on in this game, only three minutes, in fact, but Jesse doing a good job of kind of zoning out the PA. He's just going in, trying to get some last hits with the dagger here. Careful. Venomancer is a double wraith band early on. Yeah, Mason's gonna have trouble. You just see him throw on the Enfeeble, even his daggers do nothing. He does 20 damage right now. Throws it out, tries to get some farm, some harass, but the lower mana cost on Enfeeble. Still 95, but uh, it's it's pretty insane against Lee, especially against the PA. Damn, limp middle, my bad. Yeah, I gotta focus. I gotta focus right now. I got it, man. I got it. it was, it's the reason why I didn't. I mean, he was literally just ticking down a poison. I was watching it though. They they just dope him. The orb is him, and then of course the auto attack from Lim. He he tried to run back to base, but it wasn't enough. So. They're finding him again though, Lim. Better result on top of him with the cogs. Lim's definitely gonna fall. Doing some return damage. All but TP out in time. Smart reaction on his part. Figuring that's what they're doing. Going for the turn kill. Take out Venno, and he gets out safely. So yeah, Bulba's impact has been uh, pretty pretty good so far. But what, what you thought was going to be a difficult time. Exactly. Man. A good dual roam there. Without a uh, demon, he wouldn't have got that glimpse back and gotten the kill. So nice job rotating both of them in. And I love Koikva. He, he attacked the creep to cleave it. He's going to take a ton of damage here. He might even just be dead. With the trans tank in the tower. Oh, Lymph, Lymph could have kept going with the trans tank and tower. Goes back to the matchup that you're talking about. I mean, Refraction, it's it almost feels useless in a lot of ways. Matchup here. Very little. Mason, fine, but he takes the brain tap. Again, that Enfeeble just being spammed on him. What does he do? He's 9 0 right now, but that's understandable because of the matchup that he's dealing with. And you know what? I kind of like this, right? DC has almost always been about getting Mason farm on Sven and other heroes. And obviously, I mean, they've been they've been losing a lot. It hasn't been working for them. I like that they're changing it up and and giving giving it elsewhere. And TA has been doing great. They've been rotating in middle. They've they've gotten two kills up. I mean, an assist and a kill on him. He's gonna farm jungle and MSS level five, pushing in the tower right now. Moo top lane. They're definitely diving him up here. They're trying to cut him off. Bulba going to where he ported to Moo. He does not have face shift. He's just gonna go for the TP, and they don't see him. Great placement there. Yeah, middle of the tree. Obviously done. Damn. Move that. That would have been a huge kill. That would have been like a kill and half of a tower up top. I don't know. DC. Yeah, I, I like Quake, but clearing out the the jungle early while the waves pushed in on his side, so he just clears this out and then he can go back middle when it when it's pushing in again. Says has that siege though, so still getting some good damage onto the tower. There, Omni Knight early soul ring. Yeah, I've talked about this, his raindrop, but you just get soaring arcane boots. It feels like this hero has infinite mana uh, at this point. I mean, especially with the new soul ring, it's so good for all like, the Now look at this pressure bottom tower. They push in with the siege unit. We see precision aura popped on Chessy. Does a ton of damage. Z Freak there as well. TP will come in for Mason, man. Only level three. <laughs> Gets level Throw four now. Let's do Nope, and people's up now. That's, and he could be in a lot of trouble here. They need other TPs. They know he just TP'd in. But they're just going to push tower. I, I like it. They're just going for the objectives. Yeah. Don't get distracted. I mean, even if you kill him, is it really that big of a deal? So, yeah, get the tower. There's Here. a rotation, though, from behind. Bulba smoked. Style in the front lines. Maybe we're regretting that now. Bulba, as you mentioned, in the flank. Here we go. Going to be Nightmare. Be taken off. Maybe not just yet. The dagger in. Kyle's in trouble. Let's see if people up. Gonna delay this Infinity Rider King can close up with the battery assault. No, but the glimpse is enough to bring him right back. So it's definitely a kill on Bane. Just a matter of when. They might try to saw. Oh, I thought they were gonna save for Mason's dagger to get the kill, because he needs all the farm he can get. Wait, look at that distraction. Look at middle lane. Koik was sitting here with the melt, or with the Invis, I guess. And he's gonna open right now. But crap, it's flowing. Not gonna be enough. He has to fall back, repels put up, take up some damage up. Yeah, that's the best feeling. You can Gale getting taken off by Repel and all that. Uh, it didn't used to. Gale used to be quite the skill. 
Radiance Middle Tower is under so now, attack. Now, yeah, this is this when Cole Cole's good. They're just gonna take towers here, and that's the thing with the drow line though. You don't want to lose a fight. They're just gonna take these, you know, push towers one by one, not overcommit or do anything like we just saw. And losing Kyle for a tower, completely okay. Yeah, no, this, middle it's, though. It's signature complexion. He has the other enemy down to live again. It's gonna be dope on, and no chance for him to get away. No support nearby, so just run at him. But look at those wards. Demon's gonna get denied at least. It does die, but a lot of wards just sitting there. <laughs> Free. Level 40 to actually at this point, so yeah, plenty of damage coming out. But yeah, it goes back to again, complexity. Their signature is just push objectives. Love these items like the Helm of the Dominator come to mind, you know, the Solar Crest, etc. Ida. Get the objectives from Roshan to the towers. I think the I think the biggest thing here is if, if complexity they really need to like get a good gank maybe team fight and then steal the stacks with Venno because if TA is allowed to take this triple stack or the double stack she's gonna start ramping up super quick and uh, I'm interested to see when Koi actually wants to go for it herself. Well, realizing that a little bit careful right here. Oh, what? Kyle. Far? Yes, he is. Back. Easy kill on him. Oh, he turns kills probably Nightmares himself in the midst of it. He will die. The purification was out of range. What is happening? I mean, all right. <laughs> Limp, Limp just pushing middle too, and yeah. damn, Kyle, that's that's a big kill. That's a lot. Bobo is level five, so he gets a full experience. He's almost level six because of that solo kill, solo experience. And now they get middle. That's gonna be a three k gold new for him. And uh, Kyle will definitely take that every day of the week. <laughs> I mean, sacrifice himself in the tier two to get that mid tower push. You see the top tower, it still has a good amount of life, but something tells me we're gonna see Z Freak make his way up there and look to push that in now. As he has he has that medallion, excuse me, coming out and get Venomancer level four for staff. They worked on about the Ring of Aquila, obviously doing air ready. Medallion and Blightstone, so just. Keeping that up so he can push down that minus two, even for for uh, melee creeps, gives him an extra two damage on towers. It's not terrible. I'll take that. Oh, and he is. He's placing wards on these stacks, so they're just scouting it out. Arcane rune now, though, or quick foot. I mean, not the best rune form, but can pop a fraction, a ton more. Maybe just take these stacks. Here he's gonna set the ward at least first, but look at the top lane. Kyle's up here, but see the people up on mage and mage is like I thought I got away from you, damn it. Damage, although he's going in with it. Now probably regretting that though. In comes the green call. They had Omni Knight near bike. The nightmare comes out with the silence before that. He nightmares the heal doesn't hit them with the guardian angels used, but the waiting ripple finished the job. That was such a back and forth mind game right there, but complexity gets better a bit. They might get more. Fiends go blocking at Omni Knight. Demon gonna do what he can with a static storm. Is it enough to save him? It's absolutely not the brain tap. Demon goes down as well. What a play from Kyle, honestly, on that fade. That was pretty clutch all around. Right there, they do lose Venom in mid, but man. God, this, the nightmare targeting when you're Omni Knight, like, he just keeps trying to heal, but you can't do it on, like, the first second of when someone's nightmared. So he's, like, using quick cast, and it's healing himself instead of the person that gets nightmared. That is actually so rough for him. Because if they get the heal off right there, I mean, they, they might be fine. They might be able to just run, turn it around even. Instead, three of them die. And again, another case of, oh, well, they kill Venomancer, but they lose three heroes and they lose top tower ultimately. So it's uh, complexity. We'll gladly take that trade if that's what it calls for. 4,000 out 5,000 net worth lead at this point. Nature's Profit, meanwhile, just split push and bought him. Again, this position for Nature's Profit. He's already level seven. He's kind of in the mid right here. And his items looking very strong. Go back to the Blindstone with them. He's done a full power trip. He does a lot of damage, and uh, this Omni Knight, if he just eventually gets his skills up, and I mean, I wonder if he went to settings and turned off quick cast, we'll see, but <laughs> he really is hurting him. Oh, middle lane, limp again! Oh, limps, he's, you know, every time he comes past this river, it seems like it's the death of him, so something about that. I want to see his fourth death now, fifth death, got it. One, five, and two, he's honestly not doing that great, so... But at the same time, he's third in net worth. He's higher than anyone else on the Radiant side. So I guess he is doing all right. I don't know. I mean, that's mostly just the towers, though. Like, the Venno should be a little bit higher up here. TA? And he's having a great time. They actually scan uphill. They probably think they're doing Ancients, but it's, it's just Demon chilling right now. 
and he barely misses his sentry on that ward. But Kyle, not this time, my friend. He's repelled. That's not gonna work. Though. Oh, so he gets it. Oh. He does get the count. Sorry, Mudo's gonna kill a Mason. That's not good for a DC. Yeah, the struggle for Mason definitely continues. That's for sure. But complexity. I mean, the Venomancer, then even Bane going down right there. It's again a case of maybe uh, overstepping a little bit. It seems a little odd to be enough. Well, what about you? Because now tier one is one thing, but tier twos should complexity now just be kind of grouping up because they are doing a lot of the splitting up. It feels like now as I say this, they are grouping up though. And this is a huge play. They're gonna steal these whole stacks, and they were all low. Oh, this is the play to make. They're gonna be up by like 5k after they take all this big gold. Damn. But we'll see. Maybe they want they want to contest. There's five people here. They have Guardian Angel. There's yeah. Is that, I mean, Guardian Angel, just the physical, though, there's still plenty of magic damage that's coming around. Does, does he have poison over yet? Did he level that? No, he still doesn't have it, actually. Oh, Plimp again. That's why it's the Miguel's dead at Chrono. Every queen uses shield like on him. And meanwhile, those shells get the Bane. Maybe a couple of picks for DC. Yeah, Complexity just finding themselves a little bit too spread out. And they're going to lose a couple more. And more room for DC to come back. Yeah, this is not what you want to do as a drow line if you're up some gold, but honestly it doesn't feel like that much because some of your heroes just don't really do anything early game. Like drow doesn't want to be in team fights. Like her net worth really doesn't mean that much until she gets some more items. So, again, DC just doing a, a really good job of, of keeping it. I mean, it says 4k lead, but they're they're keeping it reasonably even. Once that TA gets a Deso plus a Blink Dagger, this Nature's Prophet, I mean, he just gets one shot by most of them. I mean, Drow's in a lot of trouble. It's gonna be all in this TA to really get that Deso and Blink. Well, yeah, I mean, th this Radiant lineup is all about that up front first with physical, right? You got the TA, you got the Phantom Assassin. Gee, so, if you're complexity, you, you definitely wanna, I almost wanna say they, they are on a clock, pretty much, because they need to Later, and Omni Knight getting killed right here will help that cause. Nice fiend grip opening. The, the range on that is pretty damn good. He pretty much max range to catch him. Else is gonna kill him. Here we go with the Roshan. Speaking of adjustments, they do have the rocket on it, but without Omni Knight, I mean, these guys are gonna take it so quick. And Venno did use ulti for that last kill, so they don't have it up. I don't know if he's going to come into this. And Yellow's just gonna be staying bottom, so they won't. Uh, can be kind of snack to kill, but it's gonna happen. So, yeah, it is gonna be a free Roshan. Jesse, I'm guessing. Nope. Aegis has another 1200 gold saved up here, so I'm curious to see where he goes next with this. Kyle, Nightmare up on Disruptor. PA's nearby, but realizing that uh, they're in a bad spot, PA's gonna TP out, and Demon will be the sacrificial lamb for the team. Bottom lane, Boy, Quake was in trouble now. Can he TP out in time? They do not have a stopper. So yes, he can. Well, gonna gust him away here. Traps though, if he runs over those, yep, gonna be slowed down. Maybe support can get here in time, going for the turn. That battery is solid. so annoying though, they're gonna pop the Aegis. That is quite the way to take an Aegis away. Look at how farm full was, what the hell? Earn Tranquil Radiant Soul Ring Hood. This guy's 1300 oh. HP. All that magic resistance. This guy's actually just Omega farm for a four position right now. Like, so is Z Freak, but it, you expect a Fearon to be farmed. This clockwork is so tanky, and you have a frontliner now. Puck, Villa Discord with the Blink Dagger. Speaking of farm, he's actually top in the game. So, 7600 now. That TA, that's the, the key, really. The Desolator finished, 1000 gold saved up. Blink Dagger. Be next in line, the routine build for him. Four man smoke gank here for DC. There, somebody. Maybe that somebody can be Z Freak. Uh oh, Phil. Like it might have been, but he's like, nah, I'm just gonna go middle. And they know Moo's up top, but that's such a hard kill. And Moo, uh, a lot different than Monkeys Forever. He's already level 14. It's 17 minutes in. Veil blink threat. They have vision of him now. Hooks in. Pushback. No ulti from Demon though. Oh, Demon is. Demon is messing up. He definitely could have got that, like, the, the the silence on the end there. And there was enough damage on him, he couldn't have blinked, so... A little bit of a mistake there, and now they just get bottom tower because of that. 
You look at the vision also placed by Kyle right here. Very aggressive board coming out. And I think it was pinged by the Radiant side, though. So they might have seen it. They might be kind of running it in the near future. But still, for now, vision is out. Flexity as they push bottom. The way middle lane, you see a ward put up on the uh, cliff right there from Venom. Two ultimate Al and Hurricane Pike. To be finished in the near future for him. This should make my They're doing a good easy. job. I mean, they gave away, I mean, it's 10 to 8 in favor of DC. They've given away a, a few kills they shouldn't have, but they're still playing this fear on lineup like you're supposed to. Fear on Drow, you just push towers, go back, farm both jungles, farm a couple lanes, and you're good. But again, it goes back to all this team, all DC needs is a couple of lucky crits, maybe from PA and meld combo from, from Templar Assassin on one or two heroes, and they win a fight, and that, that, that can completely shift the other way, so... Definitely it would not feel comfortable if you're complexity, but point and actually come on this one because PA building a Yasha into a Manta style. Now you're every day building PA, but figuring he needs the Manta here. Yep, takes off Gale now, which is pretty important. Obviously just splitting it, making him guess who you're going against, and if there's an Orchids eventually on Furion, gonna be good. And just versus Puck silence, so just survivability plus a little bit of damage and move speed. Orchid oh, is going the... are they just going to grip him? This might just be a straight up grip here, but this would not be a good grip, I don't think. Because there's a lot of people over here. Yeah, I think that's what's holding them up. They kind of spotted that at the last second. So he's Kyle's running in, he's just a feeble save. Here we go, hook shot. Initiate shot on the ground. He'll be able to get pushed over out of the clock. Zach Storm put down the small move. It's several years supposed to be drink well. He's going to face shift as the Guardian Angel is used though. Limp here. He's already used the poison of a demon. He's going to take that block. Or he's going to end up falling. He is in trouble now. Doesn't have a fraction up. Oh my god, that Wrath of Nature did so much damage. MSS is also going to fall in the end. That's what I was talking about the Guardian Angel earlier. It doesn't feel like it's actually the best this game. And we kind of saw that there. Triple kill for Moo. Or not for Moo, but for Limp. And that was a nice initiation by Bulba, and then the problem is he Demon just throws down his ulti, and he just four staffs out of the Cogs. And he, I mean, if when you one man ulti somebody and they have a four staff, it doesn't feel very good. Cogs, pretty much a useless skill now, and they just get to lose the full racks here. This is perfect. I mean, when I see Drow lineups pick, and like I'm rooting for that team as a spectator, I always get so nervous. But I was if I'm watching Cole like. They're one of the most, like, heaviest execution teams that do it correctly, and, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. These guys know exactly what to do and exactly where to be. Z-Freak, never really in danger right there. He had too many heroes nearby to help him, and simply trying to delay the fallback. But this is going to transition nicely into a Shrine kill for complexity. So, talk about objectives. They get the meter at the top. They get the Shrine at the top. So here we go. And also... Radiance, With all of that, they're going to get bigger and better items. In fact, Hurricane Pike for Drow is now the just about finished, and Venomancer is going to be able to right-click a not only a Yasha but Manta style. It's going to be coming up shortly. This guy's this guy's jacked. They're they're all jacked. I mean, they're on 12k at 21 minutes in. Kyle in trouble though. <laughs> all right, he's like, all right, this is where I die. Uh, Kyle was actually he was he was with me the other day when we were watching these scene. Obviously with Demon, and you know, we, we saw Demon do several moves like that as they kill Mason, by the way. <laughs> exactly, you see right there. Cal, he's just laughing right now. He is ecstatic. He was making that comment on Demon, you know, he's kind of doing the same thing. As a position five player, it's the little things you gotta appreciate. Yeah, he died that way because it was, a, it was a, a, a break coil into a death. That Breaking the coil is so much damage now since the initial damage isn't there. And yeah, I, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, complexity. These execution heavy lineups, and I mean, they're gonna execute. And DC just looks a little bit confused. That PA pick, I mean, we talked about the Enfeeble kind of as a joke, and the Enfeeble really destroyed him in that early game. Oh, yeah, that was phase. In fact, what they went the six armor uh, level 10, but does do they still get the seal damage at level 15, or does he go the experience? That's a good question. I, I, I don't know. I've seen, I think at this point, if you're in a draw line, you take the enfeeble steals damage. But, I mean, you could do experience game if you think it's going to go late, but, I mean, one more one team fight from Cole. I think you just call good game if you're DC. So it might not even get to level 15, honestly. Damn, even with that. I, I haven't seen I actually have not seen that. 25 attack speed's pretty nice, but... Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, limp. Oh, and he steals the haste rune. Bulba just <laughs> have to TP. Good. He's no. good, but 
That sucks. And yeah, like, Koikba doesn't get the trap damage. He goes armor. Yeah. And now he's found. Not good. He hit right here. He does not survive that quite a bit. It's big. Poison Nova's gonna be active before the Zero Level. Got Koikba right there. He's gonna get a trap attack. He's gonna get a double heal. Bobo going with a hook shot, but of course, half away from Lim because Glim's back in to the fight. Just some teammate support, but they do finish off Bobby Knight in the midst of that. Bobo's also gonna end up going down. TA. He is ticking away. It looks like I'm just gonna see where he is. Koikba's in the base. Isn't enough poison damage on him. The refraction coming back up. He will survive, actually. Some way, somehow. So good job at least keeping TA alive. He's going back in. Koikba! That was a balls of steel right there, but yeah, probably not the right decision. 55 seconds. He's dead for now. No 5x to be had. Moose just toying around with them. This is looking like that. that Gus knockback's actually 300. It's a lot more than I thought it was. That guy just kept flying backwards. I was like, is he ever going to stop? Flew halfway to the mountain. And here goes another Rax. They might not end the game here, but they're going to take another Rax for sure. And look at Bottoms already pushed in by Moo because they have the creeps in. Oh my goodness. Plexity. Eh, it's just crazy to think. I, I honestly, when I, when I was watching Dream League, I thought Plexity was favored over EG. And then EG wins two series and just goes to show how good Cole is. But here we go. Final fight, perhaps upon us, Bulba. He's gonna survive more staff away from Quill Lockdown, though. Moo is wicked sick indeed as he takes out Disruptor. TA is up for now, eight seconds, and has a buyback without us here in that spot if he doesn't want to. Unfortunately, that means that's another set of racks going down, and yeah, they're just gonna call it GG. Maybe talking it over, seeing what they can do differently in game two, but game one, a pretty decisive victory for complexity here. It's all set and done. You look at the top four farmers on the side of net worth that leads all the way to complexity. That's what he knows. Him. That opening, I I think you have to ban on Nature's Prophet just because I mean you assume Z Freak's gonna be playing at this point so.